Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rate certified most accurate local forecast. And we want to get a check of our forecast with meteorologist Mark Johnson. Mark, you know, I know a lot of people like the snow, but I don't think any of it is in store for tomorrow. No, definitely not. We're going to see lots of sunshine tomorrow across the area and in fact, warmer temperatures. It's not warm outside right now, though. We've got temperatures right at 30 degrees in Greenville, 28 in Spartanburg. It is 30 over in Clemson. It's 28. Uh, degrees in Spartanburg, as I mentioned, 26 degrees over in Gaffney, and we've got 27 degrees in Asheville. Hendersonville's at 25, 22 in Franklin. Clear skies around, and it's going to be a sunny day tomorrow. Not as cold as today. Um, and then as we go through the work week, the start of the week is going to be fairly mild compared to where we saw last weekend. Uh, we're going to see temperatures right at near normal. A milder week ahead for most of the week, at least the first half. Then we start to cool off a little bit going into next weekend. We're watching another system. Speaking of next weekend, we're watching another system coming out of the Gulf on Friday. A lot of questions about that system. Uh, the models are not uh, in sync with it, so we're going to have to watch it over the next several days to get a better handle on the forecast. And we've seen a string of these happening, so we're going to have to closely watch this one for the potential for maybe some winter weather across portions of our area. But again, that's a long way out. The models aren't agreeing right now, so we're going to have to fine tune that forecast the closer we get to next Friday. Outside in the morning, you're going to start off with 22 degrees in Union, 23 in Lawrence, 24 degrees in Greenville. Uh, so a little colder tonight than last night, but tomorrow afternoon should be warmer. 20 degrees in Asheville to start the day and over in Bryson City about 18 with clear skies in the morning. Clear skies around the area right now and across most of the eastern half of the nation. We've got clear skies, but we've got a system moving through the upper Midwest. If you're watching the game with us earlier tonight, you saw the snow in Green Bay. There it is on radar and it's stretching from Green Bay down to Chicago and back uh, to the central part of Iowa right now. But for us, no snow in the forecast, no rain in the forecast, just lots of clear skies and sunshine. Plenty of sunshine tomorrow. We'll see 32 degrees freezing at 9 a.m., 40 degrees by 11. We'll max out in the lower 50s tomorrow afternoon and then drop back into the 40s by 7 uh, tomorrow evening. A few clouds around, uh, scattered around the area as we go through our day on Sunday, but mostly sunny in general. And then by Monday, another system approaches the area, bringing a few clouds around. And by Tuesday, we'll see a chance of some showers around, maybe a little bit of higher elevation snow and a slight chance of a shower across the upstate. But that's pretty much it. And it's a very slight chance for both areas. In fact, 47 on Sunday for our high temperature, lots of sunshine. And then on Monday, 47, those morning lows getting a little milder in the mountains, about 46 degrees for our high on Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, uh, sunshine returns after that slight chance of some showers on Tuesday. And here comes that next system. Again, we've got just a slight chance of showers or wintry precipitation in the mountains it would be. 39 degrees for the high on Friday. The system, one model brings it closer to us, which bring it would bring us the better chance of moisture in the form of some wintry precipitation. The other, the European model, takes it further off the coast, which means we have a slighter chance of showers around the upstate or wintry weather either. Saturday, we dry out in the mountains with 34 degrees and looking at the upstate, here's what we're looking at. 52 on Sunday and Monday. Those morning lows getting a little milder and by Tuesday, 34 for the low. A slight chance of some showers on Tuesday, 53 degrees. We dry out on Wednesday and Thursday and we've got question marks for next Friday. Right now, it looks like the high will be 45 on Friday after a morning low of 27. Friday evening is when we're expecting the precipitation, if we get any at all. And then on Saturday, looks like we dry out and see the sunshine returning with a high of 44 degrees.